41 Action News starts now. This really was a murder uh, that we saw take place in front of us before our eyes. We have done our due diligence and done it in a very integral way. In just the last half hour, faith leaders announced they will meet with the Missouri Highway Patrol tomorrow. All over surveillance video showing Kansas City police officers shooting and killing a man. Good evening, I'm Kevin Holmes. And I'm Caitlin Canute. Thank you for watching us on air and on your favorite streaming device. Faith leaders released a surveillance video earlier today claiming this contradicts what officers initially reported. The video centers around the death of Malcolm Johnson in March. Officers say he was wanted in connection to an aggravated assault. When they went to arrest Johnson at a gas station near 63rd and Prospect, that's when they say there was a struggle and that Johnson shot an officer in the leg and that's when officers claim they returned fire killing him. We want to show you the surveillance video tonight, but here's a warning. Some people may find the video graphic. You know, a man loses his life during this video. So we also want to be clear. This video was provided by the faith leaders, and it's the only angle we can see of what happened inside that store. When the video begins, you can see Johnson in a hooded jacket in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Two officers enter with their guns drawn. They quickly grab Johnson as he tries to get away, and that's when most of the action in this video moves to the lower left hand corner of your screen as you see right there. It's mostly out of frame, but you can see the struggle continues for a few more seconds before Johnson is brought to the ground and two more officers then walk into the store. For the next 45 seconds, you can see officers on the ground in the corner of the video, but it's difficult to see what's happening. Faith leaders claim during this time, officers shot Malcolm Johnson in the head. And today, those faith leaders, along with a spokesperson for Johnson's family, held a press conference calling for those four officers involved to be fired and charged in his death. You look at that video and you see the lack of mobility um, and ability to move around and squirm. You would say it was impossible for him to have grabbed any type of weapon, even if it was on him. When they entered the store, you could clearly see that they, they already had their minds made up that this was going to be a violent, somewhat violent confrontation. The Missouri State Highway Patrol is still investigating this case. They say it's their job to handle any officer involved shooting from the Kansas City Police Department. Today, troopers said the faith leaders reached out to them about the video and they told them they want to see it, but they don't know if this is new video they haven't seen before. We want the evidence that they have, if they have evidence. That goes to the transparency and, the in, and keeps the, the investigation, the integrity of the investigation intact. If we have evidence that's out there, then it, it doesn't help. We want that. According to the Highway Patrol, the agency does not determine if the shooting was justified. The department stands firm in saying Johnson had a gun. Since this investigation is still open and this video is the only portion we have, as you mentioned, that only shows one angle, we decided to take it to an expert to see what he sees. 41 Action reporter Sarah Plake shared the video with a former FBI agent and sat down with him tonight. Faith leaders released this surveillance video of an officer involved shooting on March 25th, raising concerns with officer conduct. Malcolm Johnson was shot and killed, and a KCPD police officer was shot in the leg, seemingly after this scuffle at a gas station at 63rd and Prospect. Police were after Johnson for his alleged role in a previous shooting. The officer had ample reason to be afraid you know, be, uh, and take precaution. Uh, again, nothing wrong with pulling the gun. I just don't know if I would have done it like that in such close quarters. Michael Tabman, retired FBI agent, analyzed what he could of this video, which does not show the exact moments when the shots were fired. I think some tactics may have been done a little better, but that doesn't make it an inappropriate use of force. We don't know how many different angles of this incident police have. Tabman wonders what releasing just part of the evidence would do to impact this investigation. A storekeeper could change his testimony, anybody. A cop could change his testimony. Based on what you saw, it, it, I don't see it as helping. Missouri State Highway Patrol is heading up the investigation. They said they haven't seen this released video yet and don't know if it's part of what their investigators already gathered. We have surveillance video from the store as well as other other uh, video evidence. Tabman says it's right to hold officers accountable, but this video doesn't give him the whole picture. The fact that we can't see anything takes away our ability to judge. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. Highway Patrol said once they're done with the report, it goes to Jefferson City before then being sent to the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office. We did ask the prosecutor about her part of the investigation, specifically cases where officers shoot civilians. Certainly when officers are interviewed, um, I want to be at those interviews. I want to have a prosecutor at those interviews because um, we just, we see them different. Um, and we believe there's certain questions that need to be asked early. 